Hi, so in this video we're going to be looking at arithmetic series. Now arithmetic series, you can also call them arithmetic progressions, either is fine. Um, when you have a series or progression, what you're doing is summing the terms of a sequence. Okay, so what's an arithmetic sequence? It's something I think most of you will have come across before. It's a sequence of numbers where you have a common difference between each term. So between 5 and 8 is the difference is 3, 8 and 11 and the difference is 3, 11 and 14 difference is 3. Okay, so um, we use D as our common difference and you also need to know that the first number or the first term in your uh, sequence is given as A or U subscript 1, so U with a little 1 next to it. Um, for most of our formulas we use A for the first term. Okay, so these are the formulas. Um, you're given those uh, currently in the formula sheet. Always um, check what you're given, you know, right before your exam because, you know, exam boards change and syllabuses change, but um, at present they are given to you. Okay, so here's the first question. Find the sum of the first 30 terms of an arithmetic series 3 plus 9 plus 15. Now, the first thing I would do is write down what I'm given in the questions. What am I given? The sum of the first 30 terms. So I'm looking for n equals 30 and from my series I can see that the first term a is 3 and what's my common difference? 3 to 9 is uh, plus 6, 9 to 15 is plus 6. So d is 6. I'm asked for the sum of the first 30 terms so I'm going to use one of these two. I look what I've got. I've got a's and d's and not l's so I'm going to use this one. So I use this formula and then I just substitute all the bits in. So um, I've got a half and n is 30 and then 2 lots of a 2 times 3 plus n minus 1 and 30 minus 1 is 29 times 6 and basically I just sort it out. And of course in um, C1 currently you know it's a non-calculated paper so you will get numbers which are possible to work fairly easily. Okay in an arithmetic series the second term is 8 and the 8th eighth term, sorry, is 38. Find the first term and the common difference. Okay, so write what you know. So when n equals 2, the second term is 8, and with n equals 8, the eighth term is 38. Um, looks like I'm dealing with this one where I have un a plus n minus 1 d, so I'm talking about terms. And whenever you have these two separate um, scenarios, situations, then normally you do have to write two equations and then solve them simultaneously. So when n equals 2, the second term is 8, so I get 8, and then I have a plus n minus 1, so that's 2 minus 1 times d, so that'll just give me a plus d, that comes from there. And then the second one, um, the eighth term is 38 plus a plus um, and the eighth term n equals 8, so 8 take with 1 is 7, so I get this, and then I got this, and this is quite easy, I can rearrange and do substitution, but actually it looks nice, I can just take it away, so 38 take away 8 gives me 30, a take away a, um, they disappear, 7d take away d gives me 60, divide by 6 gives you d equals 5, and then that's quite nice, and you can just substitute it in there, and see very quickly and easily that a equals 3. Okay, slightly um, harder question here. For an arithmetic series 3 plus 8 plus 13, the sum of the first n terms is 1010. Find n. So what am I given? I'm given the sum of the first n terms is 1010. I can see from here a is 3 and then, okay, 3 to get to 8 is plus 5. 8 to get to 13 is plus 5. Okay, I'm happy d is 5. Um, I've got no L's, so I'm going to go with this one again. So I put all the things I know. I know the sum to n is 1010, a half, n I don't know, uh, a I do know 2 times 3, um, n I don't know, so n minus 1, and d I do know. Sorted that out and I get this, and you know, I'm not absolutely delighted with that. It doesn't, you know, it hasn't come out well for me. Um, but it is what it is. So what we have to do is try and solve that. So you've actually got a quadratic. So if you expand this bracket and rearrange it so it's all on one side, you get this. And this actually factorizes into two brackets. Now I'm fully aware that lots of people won't like to factorize those two brackets. So if you don't want to do that, then use the quadratic formula 
bearing in mind that what you're trying to do is get a value for n and n can't be negative because the first term in your sequence is, is the first term, it's 1. And so we don't get a negative term. We don't have the minus seventh term. So you're just looking for the answer which is going to create a positive. Anyway, so looking at this, we're going to get n equals 20 from that. And from this one, we're going to get n equals minus 101 over 5. So I'm not interested in that answer. So the answer we want is n equals 20. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Now, so these sorts of questions, really, it's a point of substitution. There can be some factorization. There can be some simultaneous equations. Um, they're not really too bad um, as long as you write out what you have to start with and then you can focus of what, what you're trying to do. If you do all your substitution straight into the formula, um, I think it's very easy to make a mistake. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. Okay, bye.